There is no such thing as the move of God. And I'll tell you why. Because God is doing millions of things in the world simultaneously, most of which you'll never hear anything about, and most of which are not spectacular enough in the church's opinion to be worthy of being called a move of God. They are far too ordinary for us to attach that language to it. This tells me more about us, the church, than it does about anything God has ever done through history. And this occurred to me years ago when I was pastoring, and so many people would say to me, have you been to, to the move of God? Have you been to this place or that place to go to the move of God? We want to be in the move of God. We don't want to miss the move of God. And I would say to people, let me ask you a question. Do you think this church is a move of God? And people thought it was a trick question, I think. They were slow to say that the church that we were in, or any church, was a move of God because it was far too ordinary. What happened in the local church was far too ordinary to be deemed a move of God. And I realized we had a problem. And the problem was that we have a belief system that tells us that God is doing something somewhere that, that one day someone is going to call and frame as the move of God and we're all going to jump on a plane and go there and get what God is doing, then kind of go back to our mundane, ordinary church lives that aren't a move of God while we all wait for a move of God or we pray for a move of God where we are kind of thing. And I think it's still around. I still hear it. I see it on posts and hear it in church language. And I want to say again, there is no such thing as the move of God. God is doing multiple things all at once. And they're all moves of God. And there is no greater move of God, I want to say, than the local church. Because it's the only generational idea God has ever had, is the local church. I've always believed that most Christians have two gods, a local church God and a conference or a move of God, God. And the local church God is like a father. And the conference God is like Father Christmas, <laughs> which is far more exciting and attractive to want that God than the local church God. That is like a father and a parent that nurtures and grows us, teaches us responsibility, helps us mature. Whereas the conference God is the party God that zaps us in the prayer line. <laughs> and just exciting things for us. That's, that's the move of God. No. We all need to calm down and settle into most moves of God are so ordinary, nobody would ever call them that. Except perhaps with hindsight. And I want to say finally, you. You are a walking move of God. Every child of God, every servant of God, every lover of God, are themselves a walking move of God. So can we please reframe this idea and change our language to the reality of what I think it is. All right, love you guys.